Another technique that we often use with the kick drum, especially in heavy recordings, is to form a tunnel with packing blankets that are taped around the kick drum, isolating it and bringing it out a couple of feet from the kick drum so that we can put another mic farther away from the kick drum in addition to the mic that will be placed close to the beater head. Now, as you put the cable on the mic, it's essential that you wrap it in a fashion that will tighten the mic against the stand instead of loosening it because the most common place for a microphone to come loose during a recording session is in the kick drum if the mic is tugging in the wrong direction. We've jerry-rigged a stand using a short stand, some drum hardware, and a boom arm. Oftentimes, even in the fanciest of studios, it's difficult to find a rig that will fit the mic up where you want it in the drum, close to the beater head. This is what it would look like with the head back on. Later in this series, we're going to be discussing other techniques that may be useful in your recordings of the drums. Things such as drum triggers, sound replacement, EQ, compression, gating, and other mixing techniques that will enhance your particular drum sound.